the Duchess of Sussex, 40, who worked as an actress prior to joining the royal family, is reportedly planning a return to her former career. Prior to her 2018 marriage to Prince Harry, 37, Meghan found fame as an actress in popular US legal drama suits. For seven years, Meghan played the role of Rachel Zane, who worked at a large legal firm in New York. Her character began as a paralegal and eventually became an attorney, and Meghan TMS storyline in the show ended with her character marrying Mike Ross, played by Patrick J. Adams. Meghan stepped away from acting duties when she took on responsibilities as a royal family member. She instead supported the royals' trademark charitable initiatives and participated in a number of royal appearances and trips. However, following her and her husband Harry TMS step away from the monarchy last year, royal biographer Angela Levin has claimed Meghan may return to her acting life once again. In early 2020, a source told Mail on Sunday that her agent, Nick Collins, was actively looking for a superhero role for the Duchess. At the time, the source claimed, he has said she wants her return to acting to be part of an ensemble cast in something like a superhero film. He's actively seeking such a movie for her. He's saying she is available and open to the best offers. Meghan is planning a series of meetings in Hollywood. She has already done the voiceover for Disney and now word is out that she's looking for a superhero film, as a voiceover or even on screen. A source told author Angela Levin that this option may still be on the cards. Ms. Levin told The Sun Online, I heard that Meghan had gone back on saying that she TMS not going back to doing acting. She wants to be the star of a superhero in a film. Harry and Meghan have also been linked to a number of projects since they moved to the US, where they reside in California with their two children Archie and Lilibet. After abdicating from royal duties, the couple set up their charitable Archul Foundation, following its conception, the Sussexes have signed lucrative deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. For their Netflix deal, the couple planned to develop scripted and unscripted series, film, documentaries, and children's programming for the streaming service. Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as members of the royal family last year and relocated to California with their son Archie. The couple have since welcomed a daughter, Lilibet Diana. However, since stepping away from the firm, the couple have made headlines all around the world after making several explosive allegations. Meghan also claimed she was close to suicidal and did not receive any help from within the royal family. But now, Paul Burrell, the former butler to Queen Elizabeth II, and the late Princess Diana, has launched a scathing attack on the couple. Mr. Burrell claimed the couple is trying to blur the lines between being royal and being celebrities. He accused Meghan and Harry of stabbing Harry's family in the back, and deepening the rift. Speaking to Closer magazine, he said, part of the royal fascination and popularity is that no one knows what really goes on behind closed doors. And so when Harry and Meghan share a glimpse into that life, it TMS shocking and scandalous and people love to hear it. It TMS juicy gossip and it TMS what makes them interesting. They have escaped the royals and found their freedom, but in reality, they TMLL always be chained down by the fact that being royal is the only thing that makes them interesting. And in playing on these connections, they are stabbing Harry TMS family in the back and deepening the rift. I imagine Harry TMS book will be even more shocking than what he TMS said so far, as the publishers will need that. That TMS the issue Harry and Meghan face with trying to blur the lines between being royal and being celebrities. It just doesn't TMT work. His comments come after Harry was spotted with a mic during his and Meghan's tour of New York last month. The black wire could be seen sticking out his trouser pocket, and into his shirt. It was suggested the couple may have been recording content for their multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. Next year, Harry is set to release a memoir detailing his time in the royal family, and how he and Meghan stepped down, and moved to the US. You don't TMT have the luxury to invest. That sounds so fancy. 
My husband has been saying for years, gosh, Don TMT you wish there was a place where if your values were aligned like this, you could put your money to that same sort of thing. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been contacted for comment. Pair announced the new job role stating, when we invest in each other we change the world. GB News presenter Becca Hudson said, I think this is absolutely wonderful. Firstly, we don't know if what they're being paid or if they're being paid at all. They're making a handsome sum from their other deals. I think this is great, this is Harry and Meghan fulfilling the promise that they made to us all when they launched the Archual Foundation. GB News host Dan Wooden questioned Ms. Hudson's comments, saying, by being a banker. But she hit back saying, this is about investing in causes like gender equality and racial equality and climate change. This is them actually funding causes. The couple last month were also named in Time magazine's list of top 100 influential people. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were recognized for their charity work through their non-profit, the Archual Foundation. The royal couple has long been very invested in supporting charitable work, even asking well-wishers to donate to a charity to mark their wedding day in 2018. And one of the first ventures Harry and Meghan announced following their departure from the royal family, was the creation of their non-profit in 2020. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's stunning reversal of fortune with royal family. Nigel Farage had a falling out with Prince Charles after ex-MEP refused to stand. Kate and William's increasing difficulty in relationship, decide where they're going announcing their new creation days after quitting, the couple said, before Sussex Royal, came the idea of arch the Greek word meaning source of action. We connected to this concept for the charitable organization we hoped to build one day, and it became the inspiration for our son's name, Archul is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. The non-profit has collaborated with several charities across the world over the past years on projects varying from helping hunger relief to the equitable distribution of the Covid vaccine. Following her departure from the monarchy and her US move, Meghan Markle, 40, hasn't TMT been able to attend many red carpet events, thanks to the pandemic and the birth of her second child. However, an insider has claimed that Meghan has her own plans for their, hers and Harry TMS, future in Hollywood which include making a splash at high-profile red carpet events, but it TMS a feat that could come with a hefty price tag. Prince Harry, 37 and Meghan quit royal life in early 2020 and moved to America with their firstborn child Archie. Since then, the couple have purchased a luxury mansion in California, where they reside with the newest addition of their family, Lilibet Lily trademark Diana, who was born in June. Following the lifting of restrictions, and Meghan TMS return from maternity leave the Sussexes made a three-day visit to New York last month marking their first joint public outing since Lily TMS birth an insider claims that the US actress is ready for her comeback. A source claims that the Duchess will be putting plans into motion where money is no object to dazzle at large-scale events like the Oscars and Golden Globes during next year TMS awards season. It comes after Meghan TMS sister-in-law Kate Middleton stole the show at the James Bond premiere last month, where she wore a glittering gold Jenny Packham cape gown which prompted praise from royal watchers. The gown was also complimented by No Time To Die TMS protagonist Daniel Craig, who told her you look jolly lovely. According to an insider who spoke to Heat World, Meghan is determined to get the same reaction when she attends similar large-scale events. The source said, it was pretty galling for Harry and Meghan to see the overwhelming reaction to Kate and her movie star dress. Meghan knows if she'd had the audacity to wear such a show-stealing outfit she TMD have been destroyed for it. The insider also said that the Duchess of Sussex wanted to be seen as a superstar at the high-profile bashes in America. They told the entertainment site, when Meghan and Prince Harry moved to America they had expected to be invited to all the A-list events and really wanted to be seen as superstars. But obviously that all stopped because of lockdown and then Meghan got pregnant with Lilibet. 
But now things are kind of back to normal, Meghan really wants to go to all the big parties and events they are invited to and show that Hollywood side to her although her charity work is what she's now known for, there's no reason she can't do both. The insider added that with the usage of stylists, makeup artists and glamorous outfits, the bill for Meghan TMS master plan could total an eye-watering $1 million. The insider says Meghan believes the sum will be worth it. They said, she will employ her own team of people to make sure she looks her glamorous best and wants all the top stylists, makeup artists, designer outfits and expensive jewelry, it could end up costing up to $1 million, but she believes it will be worth it. The source added that the Cambridge's appearance at the Royal Albert Hall for the premiere just serves as more proof for them that they tm, re better off out of the UK and these types of London events. Before adding, they tm re looking forward instead to making the rounds in awards season, and being where the real glitz and glamour belongs. They are constantly being accused of being hypocrites or ripped to pieces for their choices in fashion or jewellery, their modes of travel or work choices. But Meghan has her own plans for their future in Hollywood and Dose and TMT care what anyone says about it. Meghan previously used to attend similar, but smaller scale events, when she was an actress in US drama suits, before her relationship with the prince. Speculation has arisen that the Duchess could be working on her own makeup range, which she may wear when awards season arrives next year. The mother of two has reportedly been making several visits to the estate of a beauty marketing firm executive Bill Guthy, co-founder of Guthy Renker, along with her husband and her mum Doria.